These installation instructions apply to all TAMCO insulated and non-insulated control dampers. This video clip will demonstrate how to install horizontal jack shafts on a two section wide by two section high TAMCO Series 9000 BF thermally insulated damper assembly. TAMCO strongly recommends that each damper section should be actuated individually with its own dedicated motor. However, it is possible to connect multiple sections using jumpers or jack shafts in order to actuate more than one section from a given motor location. Jack shafts are required whenever 30 square feet of damper surface area or more are to be actuated from any one motor location. Jumpers may be used to link sections if the total area connected is less than 30 square feet. Before beginning the installation of any TAMCO horizontal jack shaft, review the following checklist. Ensure that the installed damper sections conform to TAMCO aluminum damper installation guidelines. Verify the contents of the TAMCO jack shaft boxes to ensure all parts have been received. Each jack shaft is shipped from TAMCO in its own box. Each jack shaft for this damper configuration will be shipped in two separate parts, the bridge bracket assembly and the side bracket assembly. Printed installation instructions, based on the specific configuration ordered, are also included with each jack shaft. Two labels are affixed to each jack shaft box. The first label shows TAMCO's shop number, the customer's purchase order number, the damper's size and series, the tag, and the project name. The second label shows the item number. The jack shaft is identified with labels identical to the ones found on the jack shaft box. It is now a simple matter of matching up the jack shaft item number to its corresponding damper. If any assistance is required, call TAMCO Customer Service at 1-800-561-3449. This installation demonstrates a jack shaft mounted so that it connects two damper sections and extends beyond the left side of the damper. However, every TAMCO damper assembly is manufactured with pre-punched mounting holes, permitting the jack shaft to be accurately aligned and installed either to the left or to the right. TAMCO recommends that you do not change the factory placement of blade crank arms along the one inch diameter shaft within the jack shaft assembly. These are optimally aligned for connection to the U-bolts on the damper blades. First, place the bridge bracket assembly so that the holes in the bridge bracket align with all four pre-drilled holes on the damper frames where the two sections meet. Attach the bridge bracket assembly to the damper frames using the factory provided quarter inch bolts. The bolts are located on the side of the bridge bracket for transportation purposes. Remove the bolts and washers from the side of the bracket. Insert the bolts through the holes in the bracket that line up with the rivnuts located on the damper frames and tighten the bolts. To connect the blade clips to the damper drive blades, Rotate the blades of both sections so they are open to approximately 45 degrees. Then loosen and remove the U-bolt hex nuts located on the front of both damper drive blades. It is important to ensure that the U-bolts do not fall out the back of the damper blades. Retighten the hex nuts on both U-bolts securely fastening the blade clips to the damper blades. Rotate the damper blades back to the closed position. The one inch diameter shaft that is part of the side bracket assembly is supplied with an internal hexagonal rod that is used to make the internal connection to the bridge bracket assembly. Insert the hexagonal rod into the left side of the shaft within the bridge bracket assembly. Place the side bracket so that the holes align with the pre-drilled holes on the left damper frame. Attach the side bracket 
using the factory provided quarter inch bolts. These are also located on the side bracket for transportation purposes. Tighten the set screws, being careful not to over torque, in order to secure the connections between the bridge bracket and the side bracket assemblies. Then tighten the set screws on all the locking collars and verify that all the remaining set screws are tight as well. The final step is to test the damper and jack shaft operation by manually rotating the one inch diameter shaft to ensure that both damper sections seal correctly.